there, sweet friends. Welcome back. And for those of you new here, my name is Karen and welcome. I always feel like this video every year is the beginning for me uh, of the autumn season as far as decorating and enjoying everything the autumn season brings and embracing the season and celebrating the season and all the fun things that come along with it. And so to get to kick this off, I should say, we're gonna start off, I'm gonna share with you what is actually trending for fall decor 2024. But most importantly, I always feel, because I don't always follow the trends, I follow my own trends, <laughs> but um, what I plan on doing as far as decorating my inspiration this year for decorating my home. So let's jump right on in. Okay, so what I wanna share with you, and I think it's really important because the number one factor when it comes to decorating for the autumn season is creating that very cozy factor. And it doesn't really matter what colors you want to bring into your home, but I love the traditional colors. And I'm going to plop up a little something here on the side. So as I'm talking, you guys can see what I am talking about, but we're gonna talk about everything that is going to just help you have that cozy feel of the autumn season. And uh, the first thing, like I said, is you wanna start off with deciding what kind of color palette you wanna go with. Is it the traditional colors or is it the colors that are trending right now, which is like the teals and more of the like muted pumpkin color. I wish I can think of the specific shade it is, more like a peachy apricot, I think, um, color. So those I saw a lot when I was out and about uh, looking around and you know, some, some blues and some navies. And those are such beautiful colors. And if you choose to want to incorporate them, then I think that is fantastic. And I would love if you do, share pictures, email me. I'd love to see your inspiration, how you put all of that together. But for me, myself here, I am gonna go with all the traditional colors. Like you see here, the burnt oranges, the bright oranges, the golds, the yellows, um, the different shades of brown. And you'll see a little pumpkin here. And I did add that color, that kind of plummy color last year. And I'm gonna add little bits of that this year, just little, little bits. So that is what I'm going to do as far as color palette. So now let's talk about um, some of the accessories that I'm really excited about this year. And let's talk the kitchen. I started with really loving the mushroom theme last year, and it looks like it's continued to carry on in full force this year in everything. So I have a mood board up here of some of the things that I did order or either bought that will be coming in, and some things that I've already had um, for my inspiration for the kitchen. So I'm curious to see how I put all of this together um, but um, I just love the, the the colors of the mushroom decor. And it's really funny, if you look at this canister here, I was actually in a local um, thrift shop and I'm trying to think when this was. Maybe it was last winter, I can't remember. And there is a there was a mushroom canister set, I think it's from back in the 70s, that someone was that had that they were selling, and I'm like, gosh, I'm so mad I didn't pick it up because you can find it on Etsy, and if I can find it for you all, I will link it for you. But it does resemble the one here that I did order. I know it's going to be quite small, but I just can't wait to put it in my kitchen somewhere. I just have to give it a home. It's so cute. So I'm thinking the whole mushroom theme um, for my kitchen. So now let's talk family room, and uh, you know I'm all about the coziness of throws and decorative pillows. And there are so many cute little pillows out there. So I always like to have these, so I put this here, these kind of pillows, look at how cute this is. I have an acorn pillow, I have a mushroom pillow, um, I have a leaf pillow, so all kinds of pillows. I love these kind of pillows. But also to be a little bit more budget friendly, I do have uh, some pillows that are like 18 by 18 or 20 by 20 and all simply buy pillow covers. And also in my mood board are these pillow covers that I'm loving, I can't wait to get them. And I've got so many other ones and I will list those for you in the description section that I just put on top of my current pillows to give them a new festive look 
And uh, again, it's very budget friendly and I just repeat and use them year after year. So you don't have to buy new pillows. And if you wanted to go a step further, you can buy the inserts and again, just buy the pillow covers for each season and there you, you're all set. But I do have a lot of pillows that are that size that I can very easily put the pillow covers on without having to buy a bunch of inserts. I do, I think I have one set of inserts. Um, so yeah, definitely decorative pillows, fun pillows, and you have to have, I just have to have some cozy throws around. Who doesn't love a cozy throw? I know I do. Um, uh, trays. One thing is I think I showed, yeah, in my mood board for the kitchen is a tray. I love to have trays in my kitchen. I like to have a tray for my coffee station. I like to have a tray for my kitchen island. And also uh, with my coffee table in the living room here, I love trays. And right now the big thing, of course, is rattan. And I'm loving the whole rattan look. So it's it's what to me is when you're bringing in another thing is natural elements when it comes to decorating. And that kind of rattan, that rattan is a natural element. Um, if you wanted to bring, bring some like, um, some, I love faux stems that have that kind of natural look of being out in the, in the, not in the woods, but actually in the flower field, fields of flowers and those natural elements and those beautiful, so many beautiful faux florals out there. And I always think, um, Hobby Lobby has always a great collection, Michaels and those kind of places too. So I love to add those touches of natural elements as well. Pine cones, uh, those add so much definition and texture to uh, decorating if you are using like bowls or dough bowls as filler. Um, I also love, of course, a velvet. Velvet is another big, big thing uh, in decorating. I love the different kind of pumpkins they have out there. They got the velvet pumpkins, they got the flocked pumpkins, they got the Sherpa pumpkins, 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 you name it, they've got it. And uh, so they have such an array. So you know I'm gonna be putting pumpkins all throughout my home. And actually I bought a few more pumpkins and I started opening the bins and oh my gosh, you guys, I have quite a collection of pumpkins. I ever, I do not need another pumpkin ever. Like you all need to like just go shopping with me next year and say, do not, do not, don't you dare buy a pumpkin. So, I mean, I literally have so many pumpkins. I'm probably never going to use even a half of the pumpkins that I have. Um, okay, so let's see what else. So I'm just looking at my mood boards that you guys up, up here have up here so I can just remind myself of what I wanted to share with all of you. Oh, another thing is um, acorns. I love acorns. I think they are so pretty, um, so many different sizes and colors. And again, I just, I love the texture that they add. And to me, nothing says fall than an acorn. What I am seeing too that's really huge this year is artichokes. Um, faux artichokes to use as decorative. There's artichoke wall art. There's artichokes, you know, in a little kind of a um, faux artichokes for decorating. So lots of artichokes. And so I'm curious, are you guys interested in the artichoke? That's kind of like a sort of a trend. If you are, let me know too in the comment section. I'm really curious to know. And like also let me know in the comment section, what is like one of your favorite things? I know, you know, we all like pumpkins. Is it something, is it acorns or is it uh, pine cones or is it the artichokes? What is that specific thing that you are always drawn to when it comes to decorating for the autumn season? Let me please know in the comment section. Um, Joel Tones is really big this year. And I have to tell you, I did my Hobby Lobby video where I went off to Hobby Lobby and friends, the Joel Tone pumpkins are absolutely beautiful. I did pick up a few and those will absolutely, I will be using in my home because of their vibrant, gorgeous, gorgeous coloring. I just, I think they're beautiful. So uh, even going that route of the Joel Tone as far as decorating, and I love adding that really pretty shade of green too. If that's uh, part of your maybe color scheme this year, but the green is just absolutely stunning, stunning. To me, the most number one cozy thing to have during the autumn season is candles. So you know I'm a big, big on flameless candles. I love flameless candles and I love them especially because you can put them on a remote, which is great. You can just put them on like at night when it starts to get dark to get that, create that coziness. Um, so I do love candles, um, those flameless a lot. But, but, but I do like this scent obviously and the coziness of a flickering candle candle itself. 
for the autumn season. Not to mention, not to mention, I have to say, if you tune into the Seasonal Blooms Boutique, uh, I did pick out some, oh my gosh, really awesome seasonal candles and a few seasonal decorative pieces. And I, oh my gosh, you guys are going to love them. So uh, yes, I think, matter of fact, it's probably, yes, it's on the boutique now by the time you guys see this video and I hope they're not sold out. But I'll try to be, you know, continue to add things. So um, anyway, I, you should always be checking my boutique because you never know when I'm gonna add things. You never know. So I think you're gonna love all the fall stuff that I added. Okay, so along with trays, candles, throws, and uh, decorative pillows, and uh, pumpkins, and acorns, and all those festive fun things, just the biggest thing I can tell you is just have fun with it. Decorate whenever you like to decorate. You know with me, I'm gonna have to decorate early um, just because I wanna get everything out to all of you so I can be your inspiration when it comes to decorating. So if you have not or whenever you are, please make sure that you save this video. Um, I hope that you enjoy like my little mood board and some of the things that I uh, put up here so that I can just, you can screenshot it just to give you your own inspiration. But again, share with me in the comment section, what is that specific thing that you really love when it comes to decorating for the autumn season? You know, let us all know in the comment section. Just throw out there a lot of fall emojis. So uh, maybe let's see, the word if you watch my watch this video to the end will be uh, fall decorating or just fall, whatever is easier to type out in the fall emojis, pumpkin emojis, whatever you can put in the comment section. Let's show our excitement for whenever that is for you. I am not rushing you whatsoever. I'm only here to inspire. So I love you all. Have fun when that time is that you decide to transition your home into the autumn season and we're just gonna just drink our pumpkin spice coffee together and enjoy the autumn season. And I have so much in store for all of you with decorating ideas and all the fun fall festive stuff that we have got going on in my community. And I'm gonna bring you all along. Love you and I will see you all on my next video. Bye.